Hello and welcome, Manav. Thank you for joining, my friend. Good to be here. Good to be here. You are the FC in uh, Pew, Black Legion, and uh, also in uh, No. Uh, no, please stop, right? Yep. Hello, guys. My name is the X-Manav. Uh, I'm the FC in Pew, Black Legion, and uh, No, Please Stop Alliance. Yeah. And I'm... it's been fun. Yeah, yeah. Let me see if I got this right. You guys are mercenaries with SOB, right? Yeah, that I, I like to call ourselves mercenary 2.0s. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we are mercenaries with SOBs, uh, mercenary pirates. And uh, yeah, we just bunch of guys who likes to PvP. And uh, sometimes I FC in that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Have you been FC since the start? Oh, I started PvPing like the third day of the game that whenever this game got released. Um, oh, wow. I was just killing people, like shooting anything I can shoot at, you know? Oh, yeah. Uh, and then I joined uh, my old corporation, ST. They were up in Wenel at that time, and they were fighting a corpor uh, like Chinese corporation. And I was a junior FC under somebody. And after that, that thing he got over, we joined OP4S. I don't know if you heard of them. They was they were an alliance and uh catch. I think yeah. No, Impus. They yeah, they used to live in Impus. We joined them and uh it was a hello, you know? Uh, they were right in the middle of the war and our CEO was like, Okay, we can't stay in there because we were getting harassed up in uh Wenel as well PF. Yeah. And uh yeah, and then they were like, okay, we need to, I think, uh, change position because these Chinese guys want their territory. And they, they were like, you know, it was hard to rat, how was, you know, but it was fun for PvP. You know, I was always the guy for PvP. And after that, uh, we, OP4S got like, uh, they basically, like, they were getting pushed by everybody else, you know, then uh, we joined. Uh, Dark Horde Alliance. Uh, they were allied with Golden Horde Alliance. I don't know if you heard of them. Oh yeah, yeah. They uh, Dark Horde Alliance used to live in uh, Geminate, and Golden Horde Alliance used to live in uh, Catch. So we were allied to each other. You know, GHA was the executor. Who uh, you know, they were like the big main face, and we were just under them. And I was. Uh, then we started like uh, solo, like uh, then I started like small gang PvP under um, uh, Eve Online Mercenary FC. You know, yeah. he taught me a bunch of things, and uh, I was a JFC under him, and uh, it was fun against uh, going against VVV and uh, Coffer at that time. You know, the, uh, being part of the bot wars, and yeah. I, uh, yeah. after that got done. Uh, I, I joined Bot Wars and I was like, uh, small gang was fun, you know, but I wanted to be like, uh, say, you know, have a new experience. I started joining early morning uh, fleet ops because we were fighting uh, heavily Chinese players, uh, time based, you know, uh, players. Yeah. And they used to uh, like free up at the night and we used to wake up early in the morning and uh, go at each other. And uh, I started as a scout under Randall Thor. He's a FC in Shush now, uh, in Legion. And I started as a scout under his, his fleets, and I became a junior FC under him uh, very fast. And he was like, no, are you going to lead the second fleet for me? Or, you know, because fleet mechanics were fucked at that time. I don't know if you know. Yeah, I You know. can only have 10, <laughs> 10 people yeah. in the fleets. <laughs> yeah, it was ve like many, many small, small fleets. I remember, yep. yeah. <laughs> Like uh, the Chinese people in the beginning were, they were very good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, the coffer guys used to come at us with vigilance and their fancy ships, you know? And also they were very tight. So they had this small bubble and everyone was very, very tight all the time. So, okay. So you are mercenaries, but you also have the SOB now. Or you have you had SOB for a long time now? Uh, we just, uh, like after the whale coalition or like lunar coalition got disbanded. We took over uh, Sov in Vale of the Silent, you know? Yeah. And we also have Sov in Geminate. So, yeah, we have Sov in Vale of the Silent and in Geminate. Oh, Can nice. you believe it? 
uh, we guys <laughs> like we tried uh, like holding a soft citadel coffer guys put the soft citadel right in ug and it got blown up you know and like having no solve at all and now we are like having the oldest citadel in the game uh, is in our alliance hdp guys that is pretty cool yep i hope it stays old oh it's uh, it's always going to be there my man nobody is going to be nobody can you know take it out <laughs> oh that's nice that's nice so uh what made you turn to fc did you play eve online or did you start with this game no i did play the eve online and i went through all of the tutorials and everything but it was too complicated you know oh yeah and yeah. it was too complicated i i was like uh, i have flown the frigate uh, in eve online and yeah. i had so much fun executioner you know oh, i had yeah. so much fun in that ship and uh, and i was like oh eve echoes is also coming out and i was like i made a decision okay eve online is too complicated right now to have, get a handle of me but i did know i did learn the basic stuff so quickly in eve online and after that uh, eve echoes came in and i was like okay let's join this game and you know have fun at it and it was mobile you know i, I could just take it anywhere uh, you know? yeah man you're you're um, you're a success right <laughs> you've done a lot of great stuff and you have moved up in eve echoes world um as an fc you did bring some stuff from Eve Online, which I think is is very helpful. But you didn't actually play Eve Online that much. I I heard you talked about Executioner. Are you an Amara guy? Yes, uh, my character is an Amara, but uh, you know I like I like to fly missiles and drones. But my character is uh, Amara in the game. Hell yeah, mine too. Amara is fucking <laughs> amazing. <laughs> It's, uh, no matter what you say, yeah, small missiles have like long range advantage. Yeah, atrons are mean with DPS, but small lasers is still is gonna be the like small weapon king for me. You know, uh, Executioner is uh, one of the good ships. Uh, of also fly. We like lasers. That's the yep. thing. It's it's a lot more fun to shoot lasers than shoot missiles, even though missiles are slightly better, I think. But, yep. as, but, but as always, like, if you're good at the game, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can have the crappiest gun and you can still win. So fly what you want to fly. That's important. So PvP, you are fully skilled in PvP or have you done uh, different stuff in this game? Yeah, I can say, like, I have done full PvP in this game. Uh, I have done PvE. I started, like, PvP in early in Gemini territory and... We were the one of the luckiest people, I can say, you know, uh, my RNG in Geminate was so lucky. And uh, I got a T10 death space when the game, when the modules were at broken prices, you know? Oh, yeah. And I made all of the, my ISK off that T10 particular death space. I still remember it at that day. Nobody was trying to want to do it because people were starting to get into cyclones. And uh, nobody was like, oh, it's a T10 death space. You're definitely going to die. And we managed to do it with four guys, you know. One was a wow. phantasm. He took a bit of a damage. He almost died, I remember. And uh, uh, I made all of my SK out of it, you know. Yeah. And uh, and after that, I, I was the alone guy. You know, I, was, I got rich super quickly. And after that, I, like, I was the crazy guy who fly, flown kill everywhere. You know, uh, just yeah. eat that ship everywhere in PvP. You know? That's nice. Yeah, yeah. I can relate. I always fly my most expensive ships, it seems. <laughs> but, I mean, that's because I think I'm bad at PvP. It's like, if I can have an edge, because I know that uh, I will always meet more than more than one guy. I will always be jumped. So I need the edge to, to, uh, to actually survive. So I, I try to fly as expensive as I can when i like when i need to so i understand that and the phantasm is a fantasmisk fantastic chip i was trying to make it but, gesture, I got... but it didn't work <laughs> <laughs> but whenever i got you know love to uh ctas and uh, fleet ops uh, i've mostly flown the cni like uh, most of the people remember me in cni you know i i have i've seen in it <laughs> i have done crazy thing in my cni uh yeah, and that was the ship that everyone flew in the beginning too. Yep. 
Do you think being an FC is hard? Now I'm I'm asking because like when new people come to the game, is it a hard thing to learn to become an FC? Do you think? Okay, being a normal alliance FC is very different, and being a mercenary FC is very different. You know? Oh, please explain why. Yeah. So being I had I've been in uh, FC in both alliances. You know, being in a normal FC, uh, normal alliance FC, and being in a Mercenary FC. So normal Alliance FC, so you're gonna get people who are like not fully skilled into PvP. You know, yeah. They don't know the normal uh, like tweaks and uh, like normal things uh, which a normal PvP should know, and you don't have to tell him that. You know, let's yep. say imagine you join my fleet and you're normal Alliance player and you rat and you you know. I have to tell you to turn off your auto attack settings, auto orbit, <laughs> and everything, yeah. you know. And after that, I need to tell you, okay, we're gonna go this, align to that, walk to this, uh, you know. Uh, I gotta, if you're an attacker ship, I gotta keep telling you, oh, you gotta keep orbiting that, you gotta keep approaching that, you don't have to die, you know. Yep. And being in a mercenary alliance FC, you don't have to tell people that. No, you don't have to tell people normal. Uh, stuff or normal allies, uh, you know, the normal things, you know, oh, just walk there or walk that. People already know when you put out a death tour or send a ping in, uh, you know when to walk. You have to tell them range and everything, but uh, other than that, uh, like being, uh, I've seen a mercenary uh, alliance is way different. Uh, like players, all of the players can have seen, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. just like, they are more experienced in PvP, uh, you know, and uh, they they know what to do or when to do, or they they can even correct you sometimes. Oh, don't do that, do this, or you know. Yeah. Yeah, of course. So, so it's it's actually easier in a mercenary corp, you think? Uh, yeah, I, I can say it's, it's easier uh, uh, being FC in a mercenary alliance, uh, but in in normal alliances, if you have some kind of people, but yeah, there's always going to be like more commands involved, you know? Yeah. And normal alliance uh, than uh, being in a mercenary alliance FC. Okay, cool. So, so it's it's less stressful. Uh, but then again, you go against uh, harder targets sometimes maybe? Oh, we right. no, it's always outnumbered, fighting outnumbered and yeah. doing like crazy things we don't always win but uh, our kd are and our stats are very impressive you know we like oh, to yeah. say classy even <laughs> even though we are mercenaries or like you know uh, pirates or uh, whatever you want to call us we we always like to say classy and uh, you know yeah 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 i With saw that... i saw your video um uh cx covops episode 1 roaming fountain del pvp um and you can see like how you fly, like how you move your yeah. your fleets. It was very nice. Yeah. So well, one of the things I regretted uh, or did regret it in the game because uh, I started I've seen a long time in this game uh, under so many good I've seen uh, on my own, and uh, I never got chance to record it and finally post it on YouTube, right? Yeah. Because. Uh, Back in the GHA days, it was a lot of meeting involves, a lot of ops. Like you had to do go through a lot of stuff and do the actual op later that you, you didn't have enough time. I didn't even have enough time to PVE or you know do, do any other stuff with the corporation. I was also <laughs> a military leader of my own corporation, so you know you have to go through that work as well. Oh yeah, you had now, a being, corp. You had your own corp too. Uh, no, I wasn't the CEO, I was the military leader. Oh, okay, okay. I was the military leader of the corporation. Ah, all right, all right. Yeah. So Black Legion, how are they doing? Oh, we're doing good. Uh, we are the, like, the Ashwan, uh, Reddit de la Pole. We are the, like, the Ashwan corporations uh, who likes to do PvP, you know, and we have the greatest FC in the game, uh, Tahini, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I need uh, to get in here. This, <laughs> I'll ask him, I'll ask him, but yeah, it's always fun to fly under him, you know? He's our alliance leader as well, uh, of No Please Stop, and he's one of the, like, I've flown with so many FCs, and he, he's one of the, like, 
one of the impressive more like you know his reaction time he's one of the top best fc in the game right now i can say that is very good to have in an alliance so i'm happy for you for people who do not know much about the alliance like is it a big alliance Oh no, we always like to say like uh, like small entity because it's hard to find good PVP corporations. But we have one of the best uh, uh, corporations. Like I can say, Coffer, the and like they they're one of the guys uh, who holds flags in the uh, Chinese area. We have the one of the uh, awesome Russian cops, Black Sky, CRB. You know. Yeah. Uh, we got HTP in uh, EU and US time zone. We got that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, uh, everybody, everybody, I think in Pantheon know who is that is. Uh, we got a lot of cooperation, and uh, but we are always outnumbered. Even with with that situation, we are not uh, like a big uh, alliance. We we just PVP. We just the uh, PVP guys who loves to PVP and. Uh, Fly uh, under the and you know uh, have fun in the game. I th- I think it's amazing. I um uh, I think it's amazing that that some people really likes to fly and PVP outnumbered, um and not and not just because I do it, but it demands a certain uh, knowledge of the game, and and you always have to figure out new strategies to survive because if you are forty versus forty, it's pretty much like okay call the best target but if you're 40 versus 20 then you need to have different ideas yeah so uh, one of the things is like uh, attracted uh, in no no please stop or few black legion is like we are the one who creates metas right because uh, i can say that with very confidence because i've been on the other side fighting few guys <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, I remember a few used to uh, or, like these guys used to have a, a, a guardian fleets, right? Multiple yeah. guardians uh, on top of either shields. And I've been on the other side. You know, my first loss as an FC was against Tahini. You know, and we were defending, and we had uh, like same amount of people, but they were in twenty guardian cruisers, and I was in twenty <laughs> cruisers, mi- mix of stuff. You know. Yeah. And uh, what do you do when the 20 Guardian cruisers are coming bash at you? And, you know, it's it's always fine because they they have tank for days, you know. It's, yeah. it's, it's hard enough to kill one Guardian and you have to go through 20 of those, you know. How, yeah, how do you do that? I would have no idea. <laughs> and this is why I'm not an FC, but, like, how would you even start to solve that issue? Yeah. Yeah, so that, that's why I lost against that fleet. Uh, <laughs> my first loss was, uh, you know, and, uh, I, I was like talking in comps because my record was going good because my record was like I fought outnumbered the VVV guys, the, you know, coffer guys, and uh, my record was going good. And that was my first loss. And I was like talking to one of the alliance leader at that time. And he was like, oh, you lost to Taini. Don't worry. He's like one of the best out there, you know? Yeah. Uh I was like, oh, so uh, yeah, uh, I think we caught them by just uh, brawling and just keep going and going. And uh, and it was hard to, because uh, we, uh, like, now I'm in, they were like, you know, we are the one who were been creating metas and strategies and mechanics, and everyone else is just catching up to it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Th- there's a lot uh, of stuff that, that you can. Uh... That you can implement to to gain an advantage. Like if you're good at the game, there I mean there is modules that is like tracking disruptors and there's dampeners. Uh, Tahini seems like someone who uh, who can foresee what's gonna happen, and that gives him a, a great advantage. Yeah, we have like uh, our uh, our everything is on another level, so we have like we have to get advantage on our enemy. So you know. Otherwise, it's like we are always outnumbered. We are always uh, doing these crazy things. We have to complete contracts and time limits. And it's you, ha- you have to have some kind of advantage to do those things, you know. And hopefully, uh, it's, been, uh, it's been a really good journey. And our stats and, uh, you know, our uh, players uh, having fun 
and producing a lot of kill mails uh, you know it, it says that we're doing something good and we're progressing in the game yeah so so do you make most of your money on mercenaries or do you still have money left over from beginning uh it's like uh most of the isk i got uh i still have some isk and but most of the isk i get from pvp sometimes i get 60 million 40 million a day and it's good enough for me because i like i have the ships i want uh you know uh and uh i have the like necessary tools if i need something you know i can just go get get out get out there and pvp and get it you know of course yep so you're talking about your ships uh i would assume your uh, favorite ships are guardian ships then <laughs> Yeah, uh, I started uh, flying more to Guardian, and after that was the Cyclone Guardian. And we, we in Tahini used to have a bash. Oh, Cyclone! I, I always say Cyclone is better. Uh, he always uh, he always say Ferox is better. But <laughs> at the end, Tahini won, and yeah, I had to get a Ferox. But yeah, I fly a Ferox Guardian slash Drake Guardian. A Ferox is so much uglier. I know, but you have to fly the, the <laughs> ship. It's one of the tankiest ship, and you know, if you're FCing or uh, if you're a secondary FC, you have to fly that ship to stay uh, survive at this game. And it's cheap, my man. Uh, oh you know? yeah, it's cheap. Uh, you know, it's great Guardian. I, like I tried to get. I, I haven't like fully used that ship, but I, I'm gonna take it out for uh, whenever we like go out full YOLO. But yeah, it's been uh, the Guardians for me in this game. Yeah. I remember when I played EVE Online. Now it's another EVE Online story here. But there was this guy, uh, not in my corp or not in my alliance. I I'm not sure where he was from. But he always flew his Megatron. And I think you can find this video on, on YouTube, I don't know. But um, So he always fly the Megatron. And it doesn't matter what the fleet was. <laughs> so if the fleet was like Condors. He flew his Megatron, but he fitted it to be as a Condor as much as possible. So he had to be like, I have to be just as quick or I have to be, you know, I have to have just as good tracking or what, whatever it was. When they had a fleet, he came in his Megatron. And I mean, the story was very fun. So you should actually, like, people should actually Google that one. Like, I, I think it's called something. What did I fit my Megatron with or something like that? And if they flew, for example, Caracals, he flew like a, a Megatron with launchers and speed modules. <laughs> it was very fun to listen to. I would be one of those guys who would actually say, I will always fly my Megatron or whatever and just be that uh, special kid in the group <laughs> and be known <laughs> for, for just doing that. Or if someone can do that, because that is amazing if, I know we, if someone We do have that. a guy. Yeah. We do have a guy who flies the Megatron Strikers. You know, he's been having a lot of fun in that in that ship. You know, he's just been going out and killing people. He's one of the others. No FC, so we can drift. You know, uh, and yeah. he's been just killing people with that with his uh, 10k TPS on that thing. Oh damn, that's that's hard. Yep. That's hard. But yeah, that that would be very cool. So you you do not want to have a bar guest then. I I, I already have a faction battleship and it's a uh, rattlesnake for me. I'm like I uh, I'm a gurista faction guy. Shit, I miss my rattlesnake. Damn it, they're so cheap now. Like, like yeah, five, yeah, yeah. Mi I, five billion. Yeah, they're like I think you can get the hull for four billion, but yeah, they they're going very cheap in the game right now. Do you know what happened? How they became so cheap? Was it because uh, the striker came? So at the start of the game, the the rattlesnake got sold six billion. Uh, at the same like kind of like a similar medium type of like six billion is good. You know you can get it. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, after that, the price got price got so much up above, and it was like at that point it was more expensive than a nightmare. You know. It, it touched 18 yeah, billion in yeah. the market. Yeah. And people bought it for that price. Yeah. And people bought rattlesnakes at 18 billion price. But after that, the, the debris got so much available everywhere. 
you can you can actually spawn it whenever you like. So the price went down, and the faction battleships got the you know because you get same amount of DPS on a striker or on an like yeah. a dummy two or a typhoon two. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. So hopefully, but yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. But I, I love my Ral Snake. He's like one of the top ships. Uh, it's like one of the end goal to just eat that ship into uh, PvP and just don't or don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I need to get another one whenever I can. It's too bad. I'm I'm too invested in market right now. I don't have the ISK. But if I had, I would have bought like um, yeah, Balgorn, Rattlesnake. I would have bought a Nightmare just because. Um, our guest. <laughs> we are gonna talk about the bar guest, but yeah, of course. But no, uh, I was thinking about shit. Why can't I remember ship names today? The Nestor. Um, not the Nestor. <laughs> you want me to go all up to them? Vindicator. Yeah, the... You miss Vindy, I guess. Yeah, I miss Macariel. Vindicator. Uh, Macariel. That's what that was the one that I was thinking about. So yeah, oh. uh, the Ma the Macariel. I would like one, not because it's that good. But uh, just because it's very nice. Uh, also, oh, the Vindicator. Too. What? It's cheap too. It's the cheapest uh, ship out there in the faction battle ships, the Macario. Oh, yeah, I think, right? Like four? Yep. Yeah, okay. No, no, no. 3.5. Oh, 3.5? Yeah, fully fitted is 3.75, something like that. Oh, God damn it. Find I would have bought deal. it right away. Holy crap. All right. Well, that's that has to wait. Um,. Okay, we talked about the bar guest. Do you have any debris? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, man. I've been, I've been catching up with the uh, faction battle, uh, sort of faction war games. So I still haven't reached uh, commander rank because it's it's been fun out there killing actual people. You know, I call it yeah. lazy PvP. When I don't want to do anything, when I don't want to take out a fleet out, or uh, you know, when I just want to way back and chill and uh, I do faction war games then. You know, yeah, uh, I might get because it's a good way for a PvP -er to earn esk. You know, I know they're like kind of getting down at price, but they're still stable at the market. And if you know somebody who really wants the debris, he can buy it uh, maybe in an even high price. But that's a good way for a PvP -er to earn esk out there. Yeah, is is it down to one point two yet? Uh, I think uh, SOE is already one. And Modus is still 1.5. Crap. Damn it. I also saw, uh, like, talking about expensive ships. Um, I, need a f I need a capital ship. I, I need the freighter. I still have, like, co so questions about the capital ships. Like, you know, uh, how's the dreadnoughts or, uh, like, the carriers going to be protected? Is it yeah. just going to be nightmares who's going to protect them? Because yeah, as an FC, so. you need to survive it. Yeah, it, it all depends on how, how big HP they have. Like, they need to have a ton more HP than, than Striker. A Nightmare has like 2 million effective HP or something. Uh, I would assume they have like 3 or 4 at least. I don't think that is enough, right? You're going to be killed by a battleship. <laughs> so. yeah, the, you know, we, we, we can munch through that very easily because it's been... Like fun to kill freighters and charons and like uh, you know because they're they're they get much too fast to even a defense fleet or any fleet can react you know. Oh yeah, they don't have any armor. It's like, but I mean they they're not supposed to have armor. But also like if you if you build one or buy one, I I I so have a hard time to understand why you go if you go null sec <laughs> or even low sec with it. It's like it's supposed to be high sec only. Uh, I can tell you that, like, uh, we have killed uh, a lot of Terrans and a lot of, like, uh, f freighters moving, you know? Damn, who has all this money? Man! <laughs> I think uh, we just recently killed one of the ch Charons who just walked to A4. Yeah. And uh, didn't think, you know? <laughs> No, it's like, you know, we were just uh, waiting for him, just, you know, handing out, you know, uh, welcoming him with our guns. <laughs> and uh, Man, yeah, he got panic. blown up. Shit. I, I, I think he called out, uh, <laughs> he called out for help everywhere in Bandon Coalition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man. 
like at some time I'm going to get um, the the Amar one. Pro- Providence. Uh, Providence. Like, yeah, Providence. So oh, I'm not just sure. for like cool purposes or like you know because just because it's fucking nice and I can move all my <laughs> shit from Gita to Amar and set up a trade route there. <laughs> like oh man, I want to sell my stuff at Amar, but I have so much stuff. So if I have a freighter, I can do it like in one go. But if I have to do it in 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 haulers, I have to I don't know, month, every day. It, yeah, it doesn't work. Depending on how the 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 new capital ships will be, the the dreadnoughts and the carriers. Depending on how they will work, it it might actually be possible to rat with them, and that would be. I mean, cool. yeah, uh, people definitely gonna rat with it, and uh, yeah. you know. And I'm gonna be the one leading co-op rooms and try to kill it, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, you know what? What should be launched? Actually, the if if they would launch the Rockwells, they have this uh, siege mode when mining or whatever. So just imagine like one of these uh, strip miners, but it's uh, a big station, and they just siege it for five minutes because and and you can't move for five minutes, and it just clears like the whole belt, and. Uh, Imagine that, and you you guys going around and just hunting these down. Holy crap! It's gonna be amazing. I think uh, I remember seeing one of the clips. Pandemic, or they were the mercenaries of Eve Online, and they got baited by that ship, right? The Rockwell? No, the Rockwell is not out yet. Are you thinking about oh. something else? It was a capital mining ship, and they got baited by it. I, I remember seeing that video. What in Eve yeah. Echoes? No, uh, in Eve Online. Yeah, in Eve Online. So, yeah, okay, yeah. Then maybe you're right, yeah. Also, like, the future is so hard to say because we don't really know how they think. But hopefully, stuff will be a lot more expensive in terms of building stations and building ships so that the materials that we have, all the minerals, will almost deplete. And we need to actually start mining for real. I mean, we have good mining ships today, but... Imagine just putting up like a rock wall and mine with that. I'm not sure if you even know what that is then. Um, uh, I'm going to tell you right here. I don't know nothing about mining. I don't know. like. Uh, okay, you know. so <laughs> imagine, I'm a baby I don't know. Guy. <laughs> imagine you take like like the new newest one, the newest mining ship. It's like a Procurer 2 or something. I, I can't remember what's, what it's called. Imagine that, and you take like four of those, and you smash it together, and you make a station out of it that you can fly out and anchor, and then you can mine, and then you can unanchor and go back and dock. So imagine something like that, and you probably have like the whole belt as a range, so you can mine. You just stand still, and you reach everything, and that is probably gonna be extremely expensive, um, like twenty or twenty-five billion or something together. like that. Yeah, so. Imagine you're finding that and 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 you have to take that down and it's I think that's very cool in in Eve online they have a panic panic mode on it so when you get attacked you can just click on a button that makes you able to tank everything for like 10 minutes uh so you can call for backup uh but I'm not sure they will have it here so like if you have balls enough to go out with that expensive ship and sit in mine and know that you cannot move for a certain time. Yep. You don't do any PvE at all. You only do PvP and make money from that. Yes, yeah, sometimes, you know, like uh, for the error ifs, you have to like do PvE, right? For, uh, to get faction points, right? I yeah. did like one or two of those anomalies and uh, sometimes I can do a, T- a T10 or T8 missions fast enough and... Uh, Maybe even bait in those anomalies. Who knows? Yeah. You know, you never know. Yeah, that <laughs> you is never the know, best. Uh... Baiting. <laughs> yeah, you never know <laughs> when a PvP guy sitting in a mission waiting for you, you know, to jump him. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Indeed. What are the best fight you've been a part of? Uh, I can say one of the Tahini's fleets. You know, we of were course. heavily outnumbered in the. We were like we were killing a Shush uh, Citadel and Geminate, and we were like heavily outnumbered. You know, you can see that video uh, at that day, and I was like, 
oh it's been like it's impossible we are like 4 to 1 or 5 to 1 against those ships and uh, that was one of the best uh, like uh, fleets i've been part of and uh, you know uh, and i was yeah. the secondary fc in that uh, and if tahini could have gone down i could have taken over the fleet but yeah all right uh, were you in a garden ship then yeah that was like uh, i think that was when i was in a motu guardian yeah okay cool can you recall the best fight you have been leading as an fc yeah i remember uh, uh, back in the gha days when i was in a normal alliance i led a fleet and uh, our objective was to go uh, like have content just like you know my objective because i started going uh, like leading aggressive fleets or uh, you know how you can say like against you guys a uh, panthon coalition and we put yeah. one of the citadels into armor the rlsi one and uh, we you guys had a lot of people <laughs> on that k4 gate and uh, <laughs> no please stop the few guys was already there uh, and they were just uh, having fun and just getting content there you know yep and uh, we jumped so Nobody will believe me when I said, you know, well, we, we jumped into, uh, was it 200? Yeah, it was, it was, I think it was like 180 or 200 man fleet. We jumped into it and uh, like Taini was asking uh, Polobot. He was like leading under the fleet under me. And I was like, you know, he was talking to him and I was like, uh, what do you want? We can help you, you know? And uh, that was <laughs> the first time. Uh, a mercenary FC, you know, helped, uh, like, they were just like, what do you want? You, are you going to jump into that? Or are you going to engage it? And everybody was like, okay, guys, we, we are here for content. If we go down, we're going to go down, like, telling people. Yeah. And uh, we we jumped into a 200 or a one, uh, 180-man fleet. And uh, as soon as we jumped into, we, we started kiting them. We made it out of that, like, they were all around that gate and we made it out of that uh, blob or mess out of that without even losing a single ship, you know? That is crazy. And uh, and we did lose one guy. Uh, he, he had like, uh, he he was, I think he got nooted out or something. Uh, he, he, his MW got turned off or he was AB fitted. Yeah, that's why he died. And uh, oh. we 49 pilots kiting a 200 man fleet they couldn't even catch out and uh, like the shit was burning to us and we were just killing it and the uh, few guys or the no stop please guys just jumped into in uh, scepters and they were munching through the battleships behind because they were slow you know <laughs> yeah and it's hard to like uh, the, the game was uh, like the you guys were the only one who had battleships and it was so early in the game players didn't have skills or like the tracking wasn't enough gonna, good enough yeah. And they were munching through the battleships, and we were munching through the battle cruisers and the cruisers. And that, that I can say that was the one of the best fleet I let. Everything went smoothly. We had content. Uh, you know, on ISK side, we won that engagement, but we left the Citadel al- alone because uh, they got they they gave us good fight. And and after even after munching through those fleets, you guys still had a great number. When you jump through a gate. And you are the FC. And you see them at 150. You have one thought in your mind. And when you see them at like around the gate, like at 20, you have one thought in your mind. And if you don't see them anywhere, but you know that they are in a system, you have another thought. Those visions that you need to play out in your head before you make a decision. How did you come across to learn those? Uh, I can say I learned a lot of things from a lot of great FCs, you know, but it's been a journey through because I've, I've been blown with a lot of great FCs. Uh, Polobot, Randall Thor, uh, you know, Zell, Hayu, uh, a lot of a lot of guys who have like a lot of good, uh, I can say they hold it a lot of good rank in a lot of uh, alliances and now they're like spread around everywhere. But yeah, I have learned a lot of stuff from a lot of people. And uh, like it being like learning a lot of stuff from the like the mercenaries FC start in the game or right in the start of the game, you know, 
learning those hunches, uh, like how to react on it. Uh, I can say I have learned a lot of stuff from other people in this game, and uh, you, uh, it's it builds up at the time, you know. It builds up. Oh, if they're gonna do that, you you can do this. If they're sitting 150, they're probably in a sniper fleet. You need to get a weapon in. Uh, yeah. If they are sitting at zero and uh, your ships are uh, range, you're kiting. If you jump into them, there is a lot of uh, like chance. Oh, you, your guys can get tackled. Your guys can get slammed, and you can die instantly right there. You know? Yeah. It it, it, it goes through. And myself, I had done back in the normal alliances and in and, and this alliance as well. I have done a lot of theory in this game. How can you can say, you know, planning of stuff. Okay, we're going to jump into this system or log off here or do this or do that. You know, I have done a lot of theory in this game. So I can say I, I have learned a lot of stuff, but I have came up with a lot of stuff myself as well. Yeah, I think that is apparent. You have the knowledge to, to make an impact in this game. and. Is there anything you want to add to to talking about fights? Because I don't know too much about the recent wars that's been going on. Is there anything you want to add to that? Yeah, I, I can say like we've been in a lot of wars. We have completed a lot of contracts. But uh, yeah, fighting like uh, like yeah, it's it's a other thing. Fighting Pantheon and Gently. Yeah, they're like uh, uh, you know they are two and big entities. You know they. They they have usually have more numbers and more players you know against us, but when the whole you know the whole map turned on us, that was really fun fighting like the goat coalition that formed you know, <laughs> and yeah. uh, being uh, being part of it and killing one of the Shio Citadel and leading that fleet uh, with immortals uh, you know uh, one of the dead uh, FCs. It, yeah. it was really it was really fun, you know, going through that. Good and being memories. part of, yeah, and being part of a lot of wars in the game is always, you know, it's a, it was fun going through all of those experiences with a lot of players, you know. Yeah. For me, in this game, I, like I, I know some people' journeys hasn't been so good enough. Uh, you can see sometimes talking, oh, some this coalition didn't do that to me, or this alliance did that, that to me, you know. For me, uh, in this like uh, journey of the e- Evacos, I can say you know it's been really positive and like <laughs> laughing, funny, you know, and uh, uh, it's been fun of a ride, you know. And sometimes I get solved, you know. Sometimes I have, you know, it is for me. I take it as a challenge, you know, and uh, I try to just uh, give results instead of like talking back to it and having fun. Players need to understand at the end of the game, uh, sorry, at the end of the day, it's still a game. It's, we're still playing uh, for it fun, you know? Of course. I get happy just to talk to you. You have a unique uh, dialect. You, I, you kind of like you're smiling all the time. <laughs> yeah. <I'm, laughs> maybe you're not. <laughs> but no, I am. Um, sometimes it's like, my cheats how it's uh, leading fleets, you know. Uh, I'm always the guy laughing, <laughs> even in the serious situations sometimes. That's good. But yeah. I think that's very healthy. So, um, talking about some people leaving and stuff like that, um, how do you think EVEC goes around today? I think the journey of this game has been uh, like community driven. So uh, as long as we have good communities, this game will thrive. Because people have been saying that back on the EVE Online days, oh, this game is going to die, this game. They're still uh, breaking records. They're still breaking, like, uh, most of the players holding in the servers or uh, fighting it out. It's going to be same for uh, this game as well. People are always going to say, oh, this game is going to die. It's going to be like, you know, but we are one year in, you know. Yeah. Going through all of those wars, taking territory, fighting it out, you know, uh, and like going through all of those uh, things and still this game has still surviving it and still seeing a good amount of people fighting it out either for territory or like for kill mills. It's, it's just fun, you know? Yeah. But I, I can say if we want to uh, like improve this game, I, I can say good content creators, good advertisement or, you know, 
listening to like i would suggest the devs to play uh maybe have uh, like if you don't want to uh, you know to create your own corporation or have your own entity like you know you you don't want to take solve or you don't want to like do this just blend into other communities you know yeah, uh, i don't know if you, they can they can join mantian they can join no they can join shush or whatever they want to join you know just blend into it and go through the you know, stuff the people go through oh is this fun is this is this uh, the t8 mission uh, i coded is this really fun can i go through this over and over again or uh, is this pvp fun or this, is this perspective going through or like fly armor ship some signs oh we did this uh, armor update is it like people are actually using it or people are actually using in doctrines or like uh, like are they having fun flying that ship you know and if yeah. they do that this game game can improve a lot they, they will see what what they're missing uh, on ships department or what they need to know what they need to uh, buff you know yeah just I... like being in the game being in the community they will find out uh, what needs to uh, get fixed yeah you said it right there in the end they just need to find out what we need uh i i think if they would have joined pantheon or or stuff like that and and experienced the game that would be good but you have to think about we have one year experience i mean if someone start eve echoes today like in a month they still think it's fucking amazing and and they don't see the problems so what they should actually do is maybe as you say join communities and listen to people I think it's wrong to put the developers in the game to actually find the problems themselves or like is this fun and then they have to try it because it's going to just take a long time. They already have people trying it. People like me and you, we we are playing the game and we're telling them this is not working. This has to be fixed and they need to take that seriously and just be like, "Okay, so he's been playing for a year. He probably knows what he's talking about." And if if we have like a thousand people asking for we need staging containers or we need to fix the desync or we need to do whatever it is they need to take that i mean they could actually just listen to my podcasts i mean i'm talking to people i'm asking them these questions what would you change and i'm not talking to people who have played for one month or three months i'm talking to people who have played from the beginning that actually have some some valuable thoughts and uh, i mean we're not saying this to gain profit we're saying this for the game to survive they need to start listening to people they do a, a lot of great jobs right now they they have implemented like like uh, the the um, faction war game and i mean that's a very good thing it's a good it's a great start for new people uh, for new players but um we need more stuff we need ranking we need uh, a real pvp arena or something like that for those people who like that we need working uh high sec missions we need uh hauling missions we need uh like a hauling activity i've been talking to some people and they they love the game they just want to be casual and and you, yes you cannot have a sob you cannot be in in all sec and being casual but you can actually play the game for real in high sec if you have great content in high sec so I think we're missing a lot of stuff like that and they should actually join the game and listen to people. Yeah, you know, I I would love to have a talk with a guy who, you know, who goes out on uh, nerves and buffs, you know? Cuz uh, yeah. I am a you know, FC and I know like stuff uh, oh, this is broken in this game. You need to fix this or the, you need to fix that, you know? Yeah. Like now like if I want to take armor fleet out armor is basically shit i can't go fight a good fleet out there if i i'm in armor fleet you know yeah, yeah. people have been doing exp- uh, like uh, you know experiment with that or like the tcos guys and been running good fleets with them you know and they they've been having success with it but it's like it's rare to get success with a fle- thing which is broken you know and if you go against a sheen fleet who knows their stuff you know who knows actually what to do yeah and you're an armor fleet you're going to die every possibility there's no way of you surviving it you know that's true yeah the, like, like they the... need to make a uh, armor link like a shield field module or they need to like 
nerf the shield field module or make it to armor link which will in my opinion will be down you know yeah you, you're very right i think they should i mean i am all for having different like they work differently i think that's a very nice niche but as it is today i would rather have it just exactly like the shield but armor uh, until they come up with something better yeah yeah they can just implement it or, or like gives two or three advantage to armor you know yeah, like yeah. yeah if you're running armor you have more resist if you're running armor yeah. you get uh, this but right now uh, the brutix logi the ship that actually refs the guardians is also very slow you, you can feel it the reps comes out like was like the, it comes out at end out of the cycle not like in the shield logi it comes out boom you you get reps you get it instantly your shield gets top up right it's yeah, instant yeah. Uh, but with the brutic logic the cycle needs to complete and then you get reps but on those 30 seconds in this game where reaction which like a lot of thing matter you can you can be on the like oh i'm fucked or you can be like oh i got the reps that yeah. that, that what is feel like you know yeah 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 Cause, of course because i have led the armor fleet uh, you know uh, under a uh, sea and he died uh, and uh, i took over and we we controlled the grid back up again i controlled the grid but we almost lost it because the armor link broke on one of the ships oh. you know yeah yeah and as soon as your armor link breaks you're not going to be able to hold tank you're going to die <laughs> there's yeah. nothing like oh we can we warp out or can we do this or can we do that you're going to die <laughs> agreed So net is fix the armor please please there's so much cool armor ships we need to fly All, all right this has been uh this has been a blast so uh, talking to you and, and hearing about your uh, journey through Eve Echoes this year and how how good you have become in FCing and uh and all the flawless uh strategies that you have implemented uh, that made you uh win these fights that were like both outnumbered and i don't know it it's it's amazing to hear and i thank you very much for being here thanks for having me and it's been fun out there you know having uh, like honorable positions in every alliances and uh, now like uh you know have, finding home in people black legion it's, it's just just been it's been been a fun of a ride and uh, you know the players who know me and always come say hi in the local and uh, it's been positive journey and uh, yeah you know and if you see me in local expect us you know expect you uh, expect no please stop you know <laughs> yes <laughs> like if you see me you're always local, listening <laughs> if you see me in local then uh, expect me say hi and i will not back down even though if you're a big fan <laughs> <laughs> yep 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 we always love a good fight we always love a yeah, good fight always. and uh, yeah Thanks Am for having me. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you.